going down for real. My name is Timmy Ngo, reporting for Cal TV Entertainment. I'm here today playing pool with the stars of Deadpool, TJ Miller and Ryan Reynolds. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good, Timmy. You know that TJ Miller lost his virginity on a pool table. That's did right. he? Did Go he? Ahead. And I, uh, the girl said that I was like a dead fish. Hence, Deadpool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Great job. Great Full job. circle right there. <laughs> Full circle. Okay. Yes! So there are so many superhero movies on the market right now. What sets Deadpool apart? God, everything. Uh, lots. I mean, lots, really. Uh, that's a tough question. I mean, he's, nice. uh, he's, uh, it's, for starters, the movie has no ceiling. I mean, the movie's a rated R film, so we can kind of do and say anything and everything we want. We also have a character that, that isn't really beholden by typical comic book movie rules. He can address the audience by breaking the fourth wall. He can, uh, he can attack the character of everyone around him and enjoys that. He also makes fun of Ryan Reynolds. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing's really off limits. So, um, you know, and you also have a, a, a kind of, he has a unique and unblinking brand of violence that is also sort of backdropped by extreme comedy, which I think is pretty cool for this character. So uh, that's a starter, but there's, and there's a lot more, the but I'll shut up wall, now. There's, you weren't listening to anything the, I said. I said all those things. Okay, but it was some of the, what did you talk about, how it's some of the most 90s uh, classic hits? I did not talk okay. about any of that. So shoop, you should shoop jump in there. Saw and Peps. Salt and Pepsi. Going down for real. Pepsi. Flow Rider. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I do. And it is going down for real. I heard it, I heard in that, cinemas, February 12th. I heard that song in a car yesterday driving past us. That's one and of my And when jams. you sit in the edit room in a movie, uh -huh. you hear a song 700,000 times, and it yeah. sort of loses its pizzazz for you a little bit. So, yeah, I've heard that song a lot. Yeah, it'll be totally different. I mean, ideally, it's different enough and people like it enough that they rethink whether or not comic book movies or superhero movies need to be PG-13. Yeah. You know, I mean, if, if he was just saying he'd love to see an R-rated X-Men, yeah, I think the idea that these comic book movies can solely be for adults, and also that this is so funny. I mean, no other, Guardians of the Galaxy was funny, Ant-Man is funny, but they're not comedies. That's yeah. not the thrust of what they are. This is a comedy. You have sort of a, a comedic movie star. Uh, you know, I, I bring a lot of com some comedy. I don't bring much comedy to the film. But, uh, you know, th the entire time, it's funny unless it absolutely isn't supposed to be, which uh -huh. comes up in some of the cancer stuff. Um, but, yeah, for the most part, it's also just funny. Like, that's what we're excited about, too, is it's nice to go to those things. And here you have the spectacle and the comedy. That's very uh, rare. Thank you, TJ. Great Always job, on my back. Uh, so, in the movie, there's obviously a lot of violence and a lot of language. Was there anything that was cut out that you guys wish had made it in? Um, there's tons of stuff that was cut out that we wish to make it in, but it wasn't, it wasn't a question of cutting it out because it didn't work for the movie. It was a mm -hmm. question of cutting it out because it was either or. Like yeah. for instance, for every joke TJ Miller says in this film, he's done 15 alternate versions of that in which different takes. Much worse, yeah. So <laughs> you, you, it really just comes down to, you, we have to pick one, which yeah. is torture. So we would sit in the edit room, and I mean, I'm not exaggerating, for days we would go back and forth about which version we're getting. We would bring uh, people in the office in and go, okay, come on, just blind taste test here. Which one's funnier? Which one do you like more? So um, a lot of stuff hit the cutting room floor that I wish could see the light of day, and we'll see the light of day in the DVD extras and all that yeah. kind of stuff, but um, no, for now we had to actually finish the movie and deliver it on time. Have you heard Zayn Malik's new single, Pillow Talk, and what are your thoughts on it? It's awesome. That's no, like zero saying. irony. It's an awesome song. It is, it is. Right? So There you Thank go. you so much for being here with me today, you guys. Make sure to take a cue from us and go see Deadpool awesome in theaters song. February 12th. Right on! Who is Zane? He's in One Direction. Was in One Direction. So guys, for the people watching and haven't seen the show, can you tell us what Cooper Bear's Guide to Surviving Life is all about? 